Typical top of the arc, in and out dribbled. Stops, goes to the rack, lays it in, plus one. The first game of the season at the Rose Hill Gym. Left wing Smith, left corner, Pascal wide open, three, count it. Eric Pascal continues to dominate the first half. Hooker lost the handle, stolen by Anderson. Fordham has numbers, Pascal inside of the bucket, throws it down wow. with one hand, plus the foul. Look out below, Eric Pascal blows the roof off this place. Stanchion. Inbound goes to rooms at the top of the key. Right wing, Thomas. Ball fake, driving right baseline, up and under, and bounces it off the backboard for two. To bound. Here come the Rams in transition. Brian Smith all the way to the bucket, and he rolls it in for two. It off to Antoine Anderson, left corner. Now Anderson right back to him, a three on the way, and that one's good. Twan connects from downtown. It up ahead for Thomas, two on one. Thomas up top for Smith, and he throws it down. Here comes Zarkovich in transition, inside a great Euro step and lays it in for two. Splendid debut, back door, Pascal to the bucket, one hand and flushes it home. Started one of six, now three Lost and here comes Pascal on the steal. Fordham's got numbers, Thomas inside, up and under and flips it in off the glass for two. Rondo has it, back to Smith, three to shoot, pull up top of the arc and sticks it. Uh, game served its purpose in a lot of ways. Um, you know, there's different philosophies to scheduling, obviously. Some people want to open up sometimes with real tough opponents. In hindsight, it was great. They were a good Division II basketball team, and Saligano's been there a long time, 18 years, does a very good job with them. But I wanted to play a home game. Uh, the schedule worked out that way. I wanted us to have some success, and we had that work out the kinks with seven freshmen. Uh, and on top of that, we had so many guys dinged up that we really thought, you know, yesterday we were concerned we might go in with six scholarship players because everybody who didn't play tonight was hurt. Uh, and, you know, a couple of the other guys were a little dinged up that did play. So you can see me trying to run guys in and out and try to protect people a little bit. Obviously, uh, we have a lot to work on. You know, we got a lot to work on defensively. we got a lot to work on uh, execution-wise. But, uh, in, you know, we found a way to win. We defended when it mattered. And obviously, Eric's performance tonight was, uh, was a special one, especially for a freshman coming in. And he'll speak about that. But, uh, you know, we'll get ready tomorrow. We're going to go play, uh, you know, two back-to-back -back, uh, Big Ten teams at Penn State Sunday and, and then on to Maryland on Thursday. So it's a big first week for us. Coach, talking about the defense, in the first half, looked like they were getting a lot of open looks. In the second half, that kind of closed up a little bit. What, what did you say at halftime? What, what yeah. changed in the second half to kind of shut off their Oh, we just, we, you know, we switched. We had like, you know, a handful of ways we can defend ball screens. So we just made an adjustment in the way we were defending ball screens, you know. Uh, it's hard to do it on the fly with a young team. So at halftime, we had the opportunity to make those adjustments, talk to them about how we wanted to defend it. And that was the difference. But they came out hot, you know, making threes. I think they had five in the first half and six overall. So I think that was the difference maker in the second half, them not making those deep threes. Coach, was there stuff that you saw tonight that gives you confidence when that level of competition goes up like it will, uh, that gives you confidence that you can do okay against those teams as well? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, we every team's a work in progress at this point of the year, but I think, uh, you know, Mandel Thomas did a great job for us defending the basketball. Brian Smith played very well in stride and spurts. Ryan Rooms was competitive at 13 rebounds. Obviously, Eric getting a double-double coming out of the gate. And, uh, you know, bringing some excitement to the gym, obviously, with the way you can finish plays around the basket. And a lot of the other guys, it's just, you know, with this many young guys, uh, it's good for them to, you know, to get the nervousness out of them, uh, so to speak, in the first game. But, yeah, no, I mean, you know, it's kind of what we expected, but it was good. After a long and busy off season, was it good to finally get out here for real? Yeah, and to do it at home, I was pleased, you know, for an early game early in the season. God, basketball season, you know. We used to start Thanksgiving weekend, but I think we had a good crowd considering, and uh, and they were into it, so that was a good thing. Eric, Eric, it seemed like throughout the game, it looks like you were you were like two steps ahead of everything. What was it like coming out there for the first time and finally putting on the Ford uniform and going out there and putting up double double thirty one points? Uh, it meant a lot to put on this Ford uniform. I've been committed since my junior year. <coughs> uh, Coach Bar the core of Coach Barada put me in the right place to go out with my teammates finally. So it was just all my teammates and my coaches gave me the confidence to play with this. Um, 
Uh, I just got to play game by game. I'm always a confident person, but nights, some nights I'm not a bad game, some nights I'm not a good game. So. No, you're not. You're not allowed to have any bad games. <laughs> you're not having any of that. But uh, it, it, gives me, it gives me confidence to know that I could go out there and play. And Coach McCord has trusted me, and my teammates have trusted me. Coach, I'm going to have to change in rooms a little, a little bit uh, to this first game. Just get out of foul trouble. Mm -hmm. much, look, look much better, much more comfortable in the post. Is that something you specifically worked on? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, we work with all the guys in different things in the offseason, but he's a junior now. He's an upperclassman. So, uh, you know, once again, some of it has to do with the opponent. You know, he's bigger and stronger than the majority of the guys he's playing against tonight. But he's done a really good job with that in the offseason. He's worked a little bit on, uh, you know, polishing his offense up a little bit, but also the, our defensive philosophy, he's become more disciplined. So a lot of those cheap, silly fouls that uh, he, he avoided tonight, let's hope that that continues, but that's a, that's a good observation. Look like the freshmen, especially the three freshmen who started, just played with a lot of poise tonight. Were you impressed by that? Yeah, well, Christian was good. I thought Christian really showed, made some real good decisions. Uh, you know, and they're, they're, they're big they're puppies, but they're big puppies. You know what I mean? You see Eric at 6'6", 240, and Christian at about 6'8", 240. They're big, physical kids. So uh, they're, they're going to have their nights, obviously, as he said, being freshmen where they're going uh, to – there might be some issues. But I think that everyone did good. And obviously, Nemanja had, you know, uh, six assists, I think, and no turnovers. And that's important, too. So we got to take care of the, ball, of the basketball. You know, we talked about defending and rebounding. We didn't do a great job defending, but we did a great job rebounding the basketball. And then we talked about ball security, and we had nine turnovers. So that was uh, that was good. We took care of the basketball. Eric, when you going in, when you thought about playing your first college game, is this kind of how you saw it going? Not at all. I did not expect to have night night. I did. Uh, and first, I expected I expected to play play a good game, but not not have that night. Uh, so, but. And it just came out and it happened. The teammates, the teammates did a great job finding me in the break, uh, having confidence in shooting the ball. So, it's a tough night to have. Eric, talk about the, dunk, the first one. Uh, what was going through your head? It looked like you thought about it and then just went for it, flew over one of the defenders and drew the foul as well. So, what, what was that moment like for you? Because that was the, the first real moment here at Rose Hill where everybody. Knew that you were here. Uh, coaches always tell me to finish strong, so when I saw the opportunity to dunk, I dunk on him. It was just Coach McCarr was like, finish strong, because he he hates when I try to go lay the ball up soft. And so that was that was the first thing that came to my head was finish strong. Joe, if Joe DeBarry doesn't get out on top ten yeah. plays, we're gonna have him fired. <laughs> <laughs> that, that better be up there in the morning, DeBarry. Oh, you got it. Thanks. <laughs> Coach Penn State and Maryland coming up. Yeah. Two challenging contests early season. Very much so. Uh, so not, not not too much time to think about and enjoy this one right back out. Exactly. I mean, I'll go home now and I'll watch. I've already watched uh, about five, four or five of Penn State's games from last year. We'll have their game from this evening tomorrow morning. So I'll be in here at about six watching that. And I'll watch this game from this evening tonight, you know, once or twice at home. So it's basketball season, you know. <laughs> That's the... Uh, that's what we'll be doing until April. Good guys. Thank you. There you go. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you guys.